In this video, I want to show you how to use Python for OpenSCAD to make some awesome gifts for your friends, family, neighbors, coworkers, anybody you care about this year. Now, if you haven't done so yet, install Python and install OpenSCAD. They are both free and easy to use. And also download my Python for OpenSCAD module to leverage the power of both Python and OpenSCAD. It's free as well. Uh, Python for OpenSCAD and my other books are listed on Amazon at, at johnclarkcraig.com. So let's build some snowflakes personalized with any short message or person's name of your choice. Here we'll use the phrase peace on earth. Start a Python program script and import the OpenSCAD Pi module. By the way, I have another video that shows an awesome way to set up your Python and OpenSCAD environment for ease of development. I'll show the entire code listing, and you can start and stop the video here to type it all in. Or what I suggest is that you go to my sign-up page for being notified when I post more videos or projects or publish my next books that I'm currently working on. Once you sign up, I've set it up so that it will instantly send you a file with this code in it, so you won't have to type it up. The first line of this code is import OpenSCAD as O. This means you need the O dot prefix in front of any commands or parts from the library that you use. There's several parameters here, such as name, uh, maximum size, spacing, diameter, et cetera, et cetera. Play with all of those, try them out, experiment. That's the best way to learn what they do. And then you can get the snowflake to look just like you want. I'm gonna try as an example to change the name from peace on earth temporarily to snowflake. And when I run this, you will instantly see the change. The way the Python and the OpenSCAD work together hand in hand, you just instantly see the result on the right. And now I'm gonna go back to peace on earth. And then we can just uh, adjust the view so that it looks a little bit more like a snowflake. It's kind of cool. As we go on down the list here, the, the rest of the code does some sizing of the uh, six arms. And then at, at the end, we scale and output the results into a file called snowflakes.scad. When you get your snowflake art like you want it, I'll put an STL file from OpenSCAD, print it, and hang it on a tree or present it as a gift to someone you care about. That's it. Thanks for watching.